There's another thing that you need to now learn is that when you create content, you have to now focus on video, voice. I learned recently that over 50% of messages on WhatsApp are voice messages. They're not text messages. So people are into voice. They are into also vernacular. So you have to now think about mother tongue a lot. You must be thinking about mother tongue, how to make content in mother tongue. And then there's this area that's new that's around virtual, virtual reality, AI, machine learning. These are the things now you should be thinking about a lot is that video matters, voice matters, vernacular matters, and virtual matters. Next. I was asked not long ago, like, how do you split your media or your marketing, ad advertising and promotion spend? The thinking for me is there must be a core chunk on revenue and sales because we are in the business of growing revenue and sales. Then there must be a chunk which is just about brand lift, marketing development. Then there must be a chunk which is about trust and reputation. There must be a chunk where you spend on insights, learning about the consumer and effectiveness. Then there must be a chunk that is just about experimentation and play money. Then there must be a chunk that's just about infrastructure, agency fees, in-house partners, digital stacks and tools, tools, all of that, the swag that you give to others, legal, all of that. So that's how I normally think about how you split your advertising and promotion spend. Next. There's, there's, there's a lot of stuff you can learn about metrics that you can study, how to measure, what to measure. So that stuff is available and you can go through it even on this slide, next. So this is the same thing I've said. The way I look at my marketing spend, I look at it in this context. The bigger chunk must go into ROI, business, revenue, market share, growing users, growing usage. Then I start thinking about brand and reputation, then market research, product chain, agency fees, infrastructure. So that's how I'm thinking about my marketing investment all the time. Next. Even though I've said we must measure things, remember, not everything that counts can be counted and not everything that can be counted counts. So there's still other parts called intuition, feelings, gut. As a marketer, as a creative person, you must use both. Just because we can't measure, it doesn't mean it's not important. Just because we can't count it, it doesn't mean it doesn't count. Next. So then, uh, Mzama, how do you build up credibility for your argument for, for things that uh, cannot necessarily be counted, but they are critical to uh, achieving success, whatever the success might be? Then you need to be good at storytelling. Yeah. Then you need to be good at persuasion, nudging the other person. Because remember, if I, for example, I am partnering with Think and Year, it's not Think and Year I trust. It's the human being. Either I trust Bukhosi, so there's a point where my trust will allow me to let you experiment with something, even if it cannot be measured. But you need to work on our trust. You need to work on me being able to say, I'm betting on you more than I'm betting on the idea. Mm. Mm. Okay. So, so then how do, you, how do you build up that trust? If, if it's a client, agency relationship like what what is it that adds to the rapport to the connection to a level where there is that trust where the like you were saying you believe in the humans in there not necessarily the the, the corporate walls how do you build that for me remember trust equals competency times consistency over time mm. so if you want to build my trust let's say agency First, help me meet my brief objectives, key results. Help me, make me shine, help me. If, if it means for the first year, you're just all about winning my trust through competency, not this thing. Sometimes there's a flow in agencies thinking that all we need to do is get me drunk, get me high. Let's do more practice. Let's go more clubbing. I don't do clubbing. I don't drink anymore. 
I don't need that. So I don't need you to take me out a lot. All I need is that help me achieve my objectives and key results and do it consistently. Mm. That breeds trust. And then every now and then challenge me, make me think differently, help me. Remember, I have an objective at work to get promoted or to get a bonus or to get a share allocation. Help me get that bonus. Help me get a higher salary increase. Help me get that performance rating. When you do that, you increase my trust. Then I will be willing to trust you to experiment. And even when you don't win, I will take blame. I will also own it with you. I will go to the board and say, hey, we were experimenting. It was such a fuck up. We didn't get it right. But it was an experiment. We've learned from it. And I will never throw you under the bus. But if you're not going to be competent consistently over time, and then you want me to trust you, that's not going to happen.